would go around and collect food or whatever small amounts of food he would collect. He would put it before himself, offer it to the Lord and take it and then people would come and urinate on the food. And they would tie him up, bind him with chains and other activities probably unmentionable. <laughs> and <clears throat> in that state, or under the, in, that, in those circumstances, not only, of course, was he internally renounced, and although he had adopted, adopted the external dress, he completely rationalized by his full dependence on the Lord of how all these things are, as Marge said, indifferent. I mean, this was his indifference. Respect may come. Insult and abuses may come. But he was totally indifferent. And why was he so indifferent? And then he quoted this verse, Etang sa astaya parat manishtam and yasa tampura. Quoted every day. Parati by Bahadi. Aham. Always happens, right? It's because it's always on the internal, not on the external. You're right. I don't really say it. I don't quote it. <laughs> so, he said, I shall cross over the insurmountable ocean of nations by being firmly situated in the service of the lotus feet of Lord Mukunda. <laughs> and as we said, Lord Chaitanya was chanting this verse while he was, after taking sannyas, traveling throughout Radhadesh and uh, very much absorbed in the mood uh, of sannyas as that which was displayed by the Avanti Brahmin. Now, <coughs> it's interesting to note, as we said, that this Avanti Brahmin took shelter in this verse and this whole song of the Avanti Brahman because of this mistreatment. And in the conversation, what is it? The conversation between Salva Bhama Bhattacharya and Lord Chaitanya, actually. When Lord Chaitanya came before Salva Bhama Bhattacharya and he asked him to please give him suitable instructions, Salva Bhama Bhattacharya, the first thing he asked him is, why did you take some yas? <laughs> and he said, actually, taking some yas means that now you become very proud. Because you've adopted this dress of a sannyasi, you'll think you don't have to offer obeisances to anybody. Everyone will offer obeisances to you they'll respect you. And you'll be so proud and so arrogant that you won't even think you have to offer obeisances back to anyone else. And you'll just accept. And then he quoted a verse from Srimad Bhagavatam which states that actually that sannyasi should have offer obeisances to all the super soul in the heart of all living entities and she should even be offering obeisances to the, to the dogs, to the lower animals, <laughs> to the leches and sudras. And now everyone's going to come and offer obeisances to you. Why have you done this to yourself? Why would you do such a thing? That was Salva Obama's first statement to Lord Chaitanya when he was instructing him. <coughs> so, Our understanding, and as Prabhupada said, also in the commentary to the verse quoted in the Bhagavatam, Paratmanishka, he says, sannyas is not simply a change of dress. It is a change of consciousness. <coughs> and he quotes the verse, Nashrita kama pala karya kama karoti cha sa sannyasi cha yogi cha nana ragnya na chakraya that 
one who works is obligated